Alright then, Internet, welcome back! So, you've come here to have me review Penguins of Madagascar. Wise decision, I must say. For I am indeed the best at this. But sir, by my calculations, this review will contain spoilers! This is correct, Kowalski, but the Internet knows the risk of such dangerous endeavors as watching my reviews. If that's true, sir, then you only have 3.5 seconds before the opening title sequence starts. Well then, in that case, welcome back to this week's Mad- yeah, so that was my attempt at impersonating the penguins. I think I was alright. I'm reviewing the penguins of Madagascar. I made notes. Things I wanted to talk about. <laughs> now if only I could read my handwriting. This movie was just a giggle fest. From start to finish, I was just laughing. It was great. This movie knew exactly what it was and it pulled it off flawlessly. This was not Oscar worthy movie. This was not the drama of the century. No. This is a movie that just does not take itself seriously. And because it doesn't take itself seriously, it allows itself to just have fun. The Penguins have been in three movies, not including this one, and had their own TV show. DreamWorks knew what the Penguins were, and they just had fun with it. And there was no lull period in this movie. There was none of that, okay, this is feeling a little slow. There is like one or two of those in the third Madagascar, which in my opinion is the best of the Madagascars. Penguins of Madagascar? It didn't have that problem. I was hooked into it the entire ride. And that's what it was. It was just one big fun ride. I uh, really like the beginning of this movie because at the beginning we get to see how Skipper, Kowalski, and Rico meet Private and it's actually quite adorable. And again, it's just in that classic, we're silly kind of way. And it just it allows you to have fun with it even though it's very inconceivable. But let's talk about the villain, shall we? Dave the Octopus, I think. He was voiced by... Hold on, I'm actually gonna look it up. John Malkovich. Okay, that- okay. Right, internet. But yeah, John Malkovich plays the villain. Honestly, I think he does a great job. Oh, but my favorite part, my favorite part, the names of his henchmen, all the puns, oh my god. There's a point when one of the octopus minions has them and he's like, Nicholas, cage them! <laughs> There's a point when he tells all of them and they're all named like that and it's his Hysterical, and it just goes right over the little kids' heads. Now let's talk about the other four spy hero people in this. The North Wind. Besides Classified, voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch, I felt like a lot of them didn't really have enough screen time for me to really get to know these characters. I mean, they seem like kind of interesting characters. Maybe they'll bring them back in to do more stuff in another sequel because movie made money. Sequel time, baby. The best part of this entire movie was Benedict Cumberbatch's inability to say the word penguins. I'm not even kidding. Take a second, listen to it. Is penguins. Crested penguins. Parent penguin heading home. And he just kept doing it again and again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Benedict, I'm sorry. You are, you are adorable. It just makes you more adorable. I love Benedict Cumberbatch, even though he cannot pronounce the word penguins. I want that on a t-shirt. I don't know if any of you noticed this. There's a point when they shove the sheep out, like, oh, get rid of the sheep. That's what he says. And they shove the sheep out, and it's one of the sheeps from How to Train Your Dragon, because they stream works and they all use the same models. And there was a portal reference in this. There's a point when Skipper says to Dave, you can't do this, Gladys, or Something like that. I couldn't remember. All I really caught was Gladys, and I was like, I, I understood that reference. And even though this is a laugh fest the entire time, there are moments, tiny moments, that involve kind of character development between Skipper and Private. And I kind of knew that going in just because I was like, there's not really much development that can really happen with these characters because they're already so pretty much perfect and packaged as what they are. But I could see that there was a little like, conflict that could be there so I kind of figured that would be there because movie and it needs conflict. Him being all like, I just wanted to be a helpful member of this team. Keep dreaming there kiddo. But the thing that I liked best was when Private did have his big, I'm gonna be useful and a part of the team moment. It wasn't like, I'm going to completely change my character and do something completely out of the norm because this is like what the movie has been building up to. No, it was still him. He was just given the opportunity to do something better and really be a part of the team and it was great. If you go in there trying to take this movie seriously, you will be miserable. Don't do that. Let it be a kid's movie. Enjoy it. And I think that's what they've really learned after three movies in a TV show is that the penguins, just let them be the penguins, man. Don't try and add extra shit. Stay cute and cuddly, boys. Stay cute and cuddly.
this movie was just a good time. Okay, I've said that 60 times. I don't know how many more times I can say it. I have to wrap up this video now. <laughs> and those are all my thoughts on Penguins of Madagascar. What are some of yours? Let me know in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I really hope you like it because it's actually a really good movie and I really enjoyed it. So if you don't have anything like to say, don't say anything at all. But besides that, please let me know in the comments below. And from now until next time, don't you forget to keep smiling. Bye! Keep them cuddly, boys. Keep them cuddly.